What's good YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So we are diving into some Jimmy Barnes. I was looking for some more Barnesy to do, and this is one of the songs that I stumbled across just looking through his catalog. And I decided we'll give it a shot. And everything by Jimmy is fucking fantastic. So I don't expect anything less from this one. This song is called I'm Still on Your Side. I hope that you guys are ready for some more Barnsy on the channel. We also have more Barnsy to get into. We got more in excess. We got all kinds of stuff to get into. Actually, more Tim Minchin. I could go on. The list goes on. We haven't covered all of Casey Chambers either. So there's plenty of stuff that we still have to get into and cover on here. Many artists that I still have catalogs to cover of, right? I really appreciate all of your guys' support. It means the world to me. Thank you for all the support. Seriously. Subscribe if you're new here. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation. We got a music video for this one. I really like diving in with the lyrics and going the whole nine yards with breaking those down. You guys know that already. If you've been here for a while, you certainly already know that, that that's how we like to do it here but if you're newer here i like to really break down the words and i relate them to my own experiences in life and possibly things that are relatable that you guys may have been through in your life that could possibly help you through something that you are going through it really means the world to me that we can get on here and have a platform like this where we can openly discuss all of these things and try to help each other out a little bit or inspire each other a little bit just through sharing our own experiences and sharing the things that we have gone through in our lives. If you guys are really badly inside of addiction or mental health problems, Please go get professional help, man. It's available and there's people that actually care about helping you out and want to see you live the best life possible for yourself no matter what. So please don't hesitate to ask for help. It's never, never a shameful thing to ask for help. It means that you want to grow and that's actually very admirable. So don't look at it as a negative thing to reach out and ask for help whenever you're going through those things. We're going to get into this one for you. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Barnsey. I'm still on your side. a classic video right here. With the motions red hair and the words were strong. Young Jimmy. 87. Cut the screen door slam, you were gone. You can't win a fight that you don't understand. Wow. I love his voice when he gets into more like chilled out things like this that are very emotional. He doesn't have quite the amount of rasp that he would normally put on a lot of things with this. He's actually using a very clean voice, but his high register, right? It's very amazing. I love the vibe of the piano in the background. The piano doing all kinds of neat little runs back there right we got some cool little note runs and melodies going on with the piano bass guitar carrying that backbeat with the drums very nice and jimmy just in the forefront with his amazingly beautiful voice singing these deep words unfortunate words <laughs> emotions ran high and the words were strong heard the screen door slam and you were gone you can't win a fight you don't understand and i wake up alone reaching for your hand man i'm not sure which side okay so i believe he's probably you can't win a fight you don't understand he's probably talking about his own personal struggles and her trying to win the battle with him inside of those things right because we know jimmy went through a lot inside of his younger life when it came to problems 
with partying excessively and stuff like that. So this is probably about his lover trying to understand uh, the emotion and what he was going through in his scenario, but it turns into a fight that can't be won because you can't win a fight that you don't understand. You wake up alone reaching for your hand. Yeah, I wake up alone reaching for your hand. Yeah, had to walk away from a fight because you can't win one that you don't understand. And it's also, if you're looking at it from his perspective, he might not have been understanding the position that the the other person was coming from as well, because he was too stuck inside of his issues. So it's a little double there where you could take it from either side, and either side can have the misunderstanding, and that's why the fight has to be walked away from in this instance. Very, very good writing. Like a cold wind in December When we don't see eye to eye Well, I want you to remember going off here right we have a very extended like chorus thing going on here he is vibing right now wow the way he went from like super sad though it's like a sad situation but he's taken it and turned it into this really beautiful love song <sighs> barnsey is different man i love that about him he said, like a cold wind in December, when we don't see eye to eye, I want you to remember I'm still on your side. He's saying, I respect your differences to me. That's beautiful right there. I think that people that are different than each other make the best couples because you get such a diverse experience whenever their energy is together. It's like complementary. Like you don't get like one of the same thing you get like two people that have different things and make them this awesome thing together when it comes to their personalities and it complements the fuck out of any situation that those people walk into you guys know what i mean like you see those kind of couples like out and about or at a party and you can just see the life on them that's the thing i think that people who don't see eye to eye actually do a lot of the time make the best kind of couples from an outward perspective people with extreme similarities i usually just watch them fight like really badly with each other from the things i've seen in my life right that's my own personal experience you guys might have had a different one you can let me know in the comments if you would like to how you feel about that the opposites attracting kind of thing said when you need me girl still on your side as sure as the river runs to the sea there will have to be times we both disagree sometimes i feel like shouting it's like a freight train in my heart make you see there'll be no doubting i'm still on your side when you need me girl still on your side that is really deep he's wrote a beautiful beautiful song just professing the fact that he's like I don't even care that, like, I disagree with you and that we have these moments of arguing or trying not to, like, let our tempers get the best of us and everything like that when it comes to whatever discussion they're having or whatever one of them managed to do to maybe upset the other one a little bit or something like that. He's, like... I am willing to accept the fact that we're going to have those disagreements and 
I have to remember that I need you to not doubt that I'll always be on your side, even in those moments. Damn. It's a beautiful, beautiful song right here. The spin that he put on this is very, very good. I like the spin that he put on it. Now, it starts out sad, and you're like, uh-oh, we might get a tearjerker. And then he flips it into this agreeance that is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it comes into agreeance with itself. We still have some more to cover as well. fucking good <laughs> that's what i always have to say about barnes that fucking belt is insane fucking shattering right i bet you he could probably shatter a glass with his voice i bet you he could hit that note right it's a very specific vibration that's a vibration thing that really causes the glass to actually shatter right i think that he could hit that <laughs> said i look up to see you standing there but you just look right through me somebody tell me i'm dreaming pretend you don't care wow he said pretend you don't care damn jimmy that's a dark man somebody tell me i'm dreaming pretend you don't care man <sighs> look right through me it's like a that's a heavy look, man, right? Jimmy's getting a heavy look in his situation here. What'd you do, Jimmy? Right? <laughs> That's the question. If it was 1987, you better ask what the fuck were you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> First off, you gotta love him, man. He turned his life around and quit doing all of that wildness. And he wrote songs that were so honest and blunt about it. Even with his own positioning inside of it saying that he was a mess up and stuff as well, that he had his flaws and everything. That's what I appreciate the most about these types of songs from Jimmy is how he also accents his own role and flaws inside of these situations with love and his former issues and everything that's gone on inside of it. It's very admirable. love that video a lot how it pulls back into that drawing there right jimmy barnes stone cold i can't remember if we covered that one i don't think we've done stone cold yet but this one right here i really enjoyed this song a whole lot jimmy always comes with the proper emotion to describe scenarios like this and 
to uh, bring it into a resolution, like an acceptance inside of it, like right up here, yeah, right here, the chorus section, I want to reread this to you guys, just because I like it so much, like a cold wind in December, when we don't see eye to eye, I want you to remember I'm still on your side, cadence and that is on point, it reads very nice, I like the way that that reads, it has a very nice cadence to it, Jimmy has that way with cadences, he always has a balanced cadence, and he knows how to hold notes out inside of it. He can sing the same thing many different ways. Like when he'll take that first chorus that he had here. And he was a bit laid back and nice with it. And then when we got to that second go around. He was belting it as loudly as he, as he could by that point. And really hammering in on that emotion and feeling of that specific section of the song. I love, like I said, the resolution it comes to when you need me, girl, still on your side. As sure as the river runs to the sea, there will have to be times we both disagree. Sometimes I feel like shouting. It's like a freight train in my heart. It's like, got my blood running, man. His blood's running. It's pumping the adrenaline, right? Maybe you see, make you see, there will be no doubting. I'm still on your side when you need me, girl, still on your side. Very beautiful, man. I like how he brings everything to a resolution with his lyricism. Even in the sad love songs, it's always about resolving the issue and having a common understanding at the end of the day. I think that's a beautiful approach. Another awesome banger of a song from Barnsley. I didn't expect anything less. The original video for this will be in the description. Subscribe to Barnsley. Support the artists we have on the channel. It's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. Relate it to our own lives. Discuss all the topics inside of it. I had a fun time with this one. And I like the way he always brings these to a resolution. Like I said. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed tonight's videos. We're going to get out of here. Like I always say. If you're going through it. Please go get the professional help. Make a better life for yourself. Live your dreams. Everybody can live inside of their full potential. Everybody deserves that. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.